Hi friends, welcome home. Welcome back to the garden. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. I'm back and I'm back with a great video for you guys. I'm gonna show you all how I grow larkspur from seed. Growing larkspur is not as hard as you may think. So let's jump right into it. So I have grown here it's the shades of blue larkspur, which gives you a really beautiful purple deep purple color this season i am going to grow the giant imperial mixed colors so that one's going to have pinks and whites and red in there it's going to be really pretty larkspur is a really small seed so you don't want to sow it deep i'm going to be winter sowing this in some winter sowing containers and that's just some moistened soil i'm using pro mix and I'm sprinkling my seeds over the top of the soil. Keep in mind, I have holes, drainage holes at the bottom of this container and a half moon cut all the way around. I'm gonna cover the seeds over with more moistened soil. Larkspur requires darkness to germinate, so make sure you cover them over. They like cooler temperatures, so they germinate in temperatures lower than 55 degrees Fahrenheit. So this is a really good time if it's your winter season to go ahead and grow your larkspur and get it growing. It can also be sown early spring as long as the temperatures are cool. So after I've watered them over, after about a week, the larkspurs will germinate and this is what they look like. And there are several ways that you can grow it. You can direct sow the larkspur seeds right in the ground the same way I just showed you, except for in a container you would do it in the ground, or you can transplant them out like I'm doing here. I had designated that for my cut flower garden, and I am just gently pulling the larkspur seedlings apart and planting them out about four inches apart. Some people say it's really difficult to transplant larkspur or that it doesn't like to be transplanted. I haven't had any problems transplanting it out because I just make sure that I transplant them once they get about two sets of true leaves. Even though you see me planting them in this red clay soil, this soil has been amended with some garden soil in it as well. It just doesn't show up as dark because I have a full ground of red clay soil, but it's really loosened up and it's really loosely tilled. You don't want to plant these seedlings in dense, tight, non-aerated soil. So once you've planted them out or transplanted them out, or if you've just direct sowed them in the ground, make sure you water them in. So I'm gonna water them in really well because I want those roots to get situated and get rooted into the ground. And I wanna make sure that I ensure good, a good grab of um, root to soil. So that's what I'm doing now is making sure that I water them over. Within about a month's time, span or two because usually it takes about 77 days for them to bloom you're going to have a garden full of tall three to four feet spiked beautiful blooms of larkspur the blooms bloom gradually like you see here as i snack on my carrot but they start off just as buds and as you move up the stalk they'll slowly start to open up and they're absolutely fantastic. So larkspur can be sown in a variety of different ways. So if you choose to sow it in a garden bed like I did here, um, I've grown this in a bed that has Shasta Daisy, that has coxcomb, that has zinnias. So this bed, even though you don't see them here, later on in the season, that bed started to develop other flowers that grew up next to it and gave the larkspur some stability because they're really tall.
Sometimes when you're sowing the seeds, even though it shades of blue, there will be a random lavender or pink larkspur that may show up in your garden. In the early morning, the larkspur is at its glory. It is absolutely beautiful. So now let's take a look at what it looks like when the plant goes to seed. You can harvest the seeds of the larkspur after the season is over. And the seeds look just as really tall, kind of papery type of covering around the seeds and the seeds sit inside of this little cup type shell. You can cut the stalks off to harvest the seeds. You can shake them down into a container like a bucket like I'm doing this pail here or you can pull them off. It's really simple but you definitely want to harvest some seeds. They can reseed in your garden without your help but if you want to ensure where you're planting your larkspur or if you really like a certain variety that you planted and you want to harvest the seeds from it, this is a really good time to do that. So as you can see, I planted this right next to Black Eyed Susan's as well. And that was a nice compliment to the larkspur as well. So here's a closer look of the seed pods. And a closer look um, at the bed after some of the other flowers have bloomed in the garden. As you can see, the larkspur can grow over four feet tall. It's a very, very tall variety of plant, or it may need some staking. Um, just depending on what you have it growing next to, you may wanna keep all of that in mind so that it doesn't topple over in a storm. So I hope this has been a helpful video. I hope you liked it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section down below if you've ever grown larkspur and if you plan on growing larkspur this season. I know I am. I'm going to put it all over my garden. If I've given you some inspiration today, make sure you give me a shout out and let me know that you're growing larkspur in your garden and I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.